Hi and welcome to today's two minutes. My name is Scott Schilling and this is my video blog designed to share with you a daily lesson that you can put into action immediately in your life to help you move forward and make progress in your life. Now these lessons come from the real world. Some might call it from the school of hard knocks, but I choose to call them God's little wake-up calls. Many times situations and challenges are put across our path to ultimately make us better through the power of experience. So with that being said, let's go to today's two minutes. Today's lesson comes from a citizenship swearing-in ceremony. Now, a friend of mine, Gavin Fletton, has been here in the States for 12 years working to be a U.S. citizen. 12 years. I, I thought it was only five to get the requirement. Well, there's so many things beyond that I came to learn this morning. So he was uh, being sworn in as a U.S. citizen. He was able to take the oath of citizenship today and ask a number of friends to come witness, which was quite the honor. Now what was interesting is out of the 47 folks that were sworn in as new U.S. citizens, they represented 23 different countries around the world. It was just impressive to me that uh, so much diversity, especially down here in Texas, that there were people from 23 different countries being sworn in. Now, what was beautiful about it is the, the pledge itself, but then everybody in the room, the Pledge of Allegiance together. One nation under God. And I got to thinking, you know, there's probably a lot of different gods represented here. But it's one nation under your God, whatever that is for you. But it's one nation. That's the coolest part. And then played a couple additional songs. What got me is Gavin's 12 years worth of effort really were all wrapped up into probably 15 or 18 minutes worth of ceremony. And yet you could see that he was obviously excited about the opportunity. He's been working at it for a long time, as were the other folks in the room. It just really got me thinking how special we have it here in the United States with our freedoms, with our opportunities, and the responsibilities that come along with it. You know what? Enjoy the freedom and make sure you accept the responsibilities as well.